Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria Linda Diaz and today I wanted to do a first impressions and sort of an unboxing because I've already unboxed this of the Nitro deck. As you can see I got the all black edition by Cracked. C R K D. Um, this is the box. This is the back of the box. And I just want to dive in real quick and show you what came in the box, how it came, and let you know what I think about this uh, controller uh, accessory for the Nintendo Switch. Thank you all for stopping by, and let's get straight to it. Okay, so here's the box that it comes in. I got the black edition. I thought it, it would look uh, sleek with the OLED. And since the OLED, the bezels are black and everything, I thought maybe it would look pretty cool. Um, it says for Switch and OLED Switch, so it can be for either or. Um, this is the back of the box. It says built for comfort, ultra low latency, swappable thumbsticks, hall effect thumbsticks, remappable back buttons, motion and vibration support. Let's get to the unboxing. It has this little carry tab and it says cracked or CRKD. You open it up, it says uh, welcome to Nitro Deck. Start here. There's a QR code. And here is the Nitro Deck. Okay, um, I was watching other reviewers and some came, the special editions like the SNES one, the GameCube, or the mint colored ones come with a case as well as a USB-C to USB-A cable. But this one does not. This one... I got on Amazon for $49.99. It was on sale because regular price, I believe, is $59.99. Let's just set this to the side. And um, I was able to get this for $49.99. And so um, this does not come with the case or the cable. It's just the Nitro deck. So let's open it. You are greeted with a welcome to the Cracked family. And under that, you have a Nitro Deck user guide. And then a card. As I was also watching other reviewers, some of these uh, controller uh, grips came with it a sticker on it. So I had watched a lot of reviews of the Nitro deck and a lot of people were peeling the sticker off. This one didn't, however, this one just came with a card and it just says, um, before attaching the switch to the Nitro deck, Nitro deck, open switch console settings and turn on switch pro controller wired connection. So that's important. Let's take a look at the Nitro deck. And I think this thing looks pretty cool. I think the buttons feel pretty cool. Feel pretty good, actually. And this is the back of it. It has four mappable buttons. It also has a um, program button right here and a reset button right here. It also has a kickstand. You can push it all the way to the back if you wanted but there you go let's close that um right here it says input and that's to charge the switch while it's in this uh, nitro deck and here's output and that's to use as a switch like pro controller but um I like, I like that it had these cutouts for the speakers. I don't know if you could see that. You see these little cutouts? I like that it had that for the speakers on the OLED switch. So let's put in the switch. 
Okay, so here's my OLED switch. I am rocking the Splatoon edition. Um, so let's just put it in. And it just clicks in. Let's turn it on. Now you have to go into settings. And then you go to um, controllers and sensors. And then you go down to where it says Pro Controller Wired Communication. And that should be on for this to understand the controller and for it to read it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of gameplay and I'm gonna fill out how this con Nitro deck feels like. Oh, yeah! So I saw some reviewers like they either didn't like the Nitro deck or they loved it. And um, some were like on the fence about it, but I did notice that they were talking about the right joystick being a little bit lower than usual and that affected their gameplay. Um, so I'm gonna see uh, how that is later on. Um, but right now let's just do a, a simple little level. Sorry for the noise in the background, guys. I do feel the vibration and it does not feel bad at all. that these come already programmed as the L and R and the, the uh, it comes already programmed as the left and right button, shoulder buttons and the, um, the back shoulder buttons. That's what these are. You can unprogram those, but I noticed that that's what they are right off the bat. Okay, testing it out. Just the controls. I'm not gonna go in a match or anything. I'm gonna see if the right joystick being a little bit lower actually bothers me or not. I do notice it a little bit, but it doesn't actually, it's not really that big of a deal. Especially since the the shoulder, I mean not shoulder, the back buttons came as L and R and let's see how that is. See, cause if you use the back buttons as L and R, you lower your hands just a little bit and they're right there where the, the the right joystick is so guys um i've actually already used this for about a week already and um i have to say that i'm very satisfied with my purchase um i think it feels super comfortable it is uh gonna add a little bit of weight but not too much where you're like suffering from fatigue or anything like that. Um, it it honestly, I I love this thing. Like, I haven't put my Joy Cons back on since I've gotten it. Um, it's a plus that it has a kickstand in the back, and these I think are also a plus, especially when you feel like you can't get to the R joy the right joystick. You just put your hands a little further down. You can get to it just fine. Um, honestly, I think it makes my Switch look 
super cool looking and the fact that it comes in so many different colors um i think um on their website it had they have the i think they're called the nostalgia uh versions then they have the basic versions which is one of these and then they have uh like a colorful schemed uh versions where it's like black and red uh dark pink and black uh black and green and i believe the other one was black and purple i'm not sure uh, but it's on their website you can check it out um and uh yeah i'm really liking this thing so if you notice this button it stays lit there's a way to turn that off. If you press the program button in the back, this button right here, if you press it in the back, it goes light, it goes dimmer, dimmer, and then off. And, but if you wanna leave it on, you can. Um, but I'm very satisfied with my purchase of this Nitro deck. Um, some people left, uh, or made reviews on this or well, lots of people and they were good some were bad some were like in between but for me I give this two thumbs up because it, it uh, honestly it it's serving its purpose and it's actually a good accessory that I'm going to keep on my Nintendo Switch OLED because I think it makes it look good it makes it feel good in the hands and I'm overall happy with it. Okay guys, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below, or if you just wanna leave a comment, feel free. Um, thank you all for staying and watching. Um, like I said, I, I was very happy with my purchase and I do would highly recommend this product to someone looking uh, maybe to switch out their Joy-Cons, maybe they have stick drift. This doesn't get stick drift. So a plus, another plus. And it comes in so many different colors. So I would say if you are, are looking for uh, one of these Nitro decks, go ahead and get it. It's, it's pretty awesome. But I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.